My name is Antwana, um, Twana Wabantu. Now let's get started. Twana Wabantu. Okay, that's my name. Now let's get started. We got Father Job. Let's get into it. Around your question to this, around your answer to this question to the nearest year, find the number of the year is you tell for seven, uh, seven thousand, uh, seven hundred, seven for eight hundred to increase by seventy two percent. Okay. I used to have a problem with reading numbers since when I was second grade, third grade. That's why I just decided to mention them. Seven, four, eight, double, zero. Increase by 72%. So before we go further, let's say, so we want to get the number that will take this amount to increase by 72%. Okay? So, what, so we're going to have this number as a principal amount, but then it's going to increase by 72%. So we, before we go further, let's find that increase by 72%. If you have that number, is a number, before I go further to the question, right? before I really continue, 7 for 800, let's find the increase by. So increase by means this amount is going to increase by, so it's going to increase by 72%. Of, of means you multiply, of the original amount, and then it's going to give us how the amount is going to be. So we're going to say 7 for, 800. So plug that in the calculator. If you plug in the calculator, that's all. Put that in the calculator. If you put in the calculator, that's going to give you a uh, plug in the calculator. Okay, plug in the calculator gets a minute. Okay, 7, 4, 8, double zero, plus 7, 2. 72 shifty decimal, shifty percent times 7, 4, 8, double zero. Okay, 1, 2, 80. Or if you don't write percent for the people who don't know how to plug percent in a calculator, all you can do, you can say over 100. It does the same thing. And then plug this in a calculator, and then when you plug this calculator, it's going to give you uh, 1, 2, 8. 1, 2, 8. Uh, 6, 5, 6. 6, 5, 6. So, if you have this amount, and then if you increase by 72%, means it's going to increase by 72% of the money that you have, and then when you add with the initial, it's going to give this amount. So we know this was the original amount, and then when it increased by 72%, we have this amount right here. Okay, I'm just showing you to understand the question, not just me doing it, because I can just do it, get to the answer, but you don't know how to do it. Now, so if it is invested at the interest rate, of 79, also oh, interest rate is 79% per, uh, per annum compounded semi annual. Compounded semi annual. What is compounded semi annual? Okay, listen. How many, okay, when you say annual, it means one. So in one, how many semi? Semi means like a half. So semi means there's gonna be two and a half to make one. So when you say semi annual, means we're gonna use two. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use that two. So you may say, okay. This is, we use this letter for compounded, but you can use any letter. So it's going to be two that we're going to use. Okay, so we have a real amount, and that amount, when increased by 72%, is going to give us one, two. So we have a real, and after increase, and then also we have how it was compounded, and the interest rate, our interest rate, 7.9. Okay, but we type of financial method this? They say this is compounded interest. So compounded interest. We have a formula for that for compounded interest. The formula for compounded interest, okay, let me just uh, wipe here, erase. So I have some place. Oh, I'm sorry, it's my calculator. So I'm going to say uh, principal, the original amount we have, which is 4, 7, 4, 800. And then after increase, this is going to be amount after increase by 72%, interest rate and how it was compounded. So now they say find the number of years. So first and foremost, we need to know the formula of the compounded interest. The uh, formula for compounded interest. So there's a different type of formula. It depends on the question. But in our question now, they say it was compounded. So since it was compounded, we have a formula for compounded interest. But if it was simple interest, there's another formula. If it's about the future, so it depends on the question. But uh, you know, just follow me. I will show you different type of questions. So for compounded interest, you say you write the formula amount equal to principal 
1 plus interest rate over how it was compounded, which we have is 2. And then the same thing, whatever you write here, which for our case now is 2, and then you write here as a power. And then you multiply by number of years always. So now, we come in and then we want to extract our information, amount. Our amount is this one, which is after it was increased by 72%. This is the amount that you plug in here. So 128, 128, 65, equal, equal, equal principal. What is the principal amount that you started with? 74, 800, bracket. And then after that, now we're going to come here in the middle. One is just one. You follow this formula. Plus is plus. What is the interest rate? Our interest rate is 7.9%. So we're going to say 7.9%. If you don't want to write percent, you can either write like this percent, and then you over how it was compounded. It was compounded means you follow the over M. M equal to 2. O, and then you say bracket M, same number you write here too. But we don't know number of years times N. We don't know number of years. Sometimes some people they can write like this. Let me just explain so you can have a clarity. If you don't want to write 7.9%, you can just erase this percent because some people don't know how to plug in a calculator. And then you can write underneath 100. What? Well, 7, yeah, underneath 7.9%, meaning 7 over 9 over 100. You see what I'm saying? Oh, let me get my calculator. My calculator just fell, but I don't wait here. Just a second. Oh, I'll see it. I'm sorry. 7.9, shift percent. Yeah. So you can write like that. If you don't want to write the percent, you can say over 100. Or if you know how to plug it, just say 7. And then if you write 100 at the bottom, then erase this. Okay? I believe you know how to use uh, percent. is normal. It's like somebody say 8%. 8% meaning 8 over 100. So either you write this or you write that. So for it depends on how you more um, uh, how it's gonna be easy for you to plug in your in the calculator that you're using. So then we're gonna take this and find the value of n. So well, so in my face me, what I'm gonna do, I'll divide by 74 throughout 748 and then over. 748 and then also I'm going to divide by this one. 748 throughout. This and this going to cancel. Then it's going to be 74, 800. This and this cancel. So I have this one right here. So plug that in the calculator. If you plug in the calculator, that's going to give you, plug all of this in the calculator. It's going to give you 1.0, uh, 0, 0, 395, 395. Uh, let me see if it's visible because I don't want to solve and then something's not visible. Okay, she's not visible. So I'm gonna have to write on top. See, it was very, very important that I did check that. Okay, so I'm gonna erase it on top here so we can be able to see uh, the rest of the solution. They say we'll find the number of years. Okay, just a minute of your time, just a second, and then we continue. Okay, cool. So then what's, what's next? I'm gonna plug all of this in the calculator. If I plug all of this in the calculator, it's gonna give me uh it's gonna give me uh, one one print zero three nine five bracket. See? Uh, and then power to n. You say power to n equal on the left. We have a 128656 six over 74800. So we're going to plug in the calculator. If you plug in the calculator, that one is going to give you 1.72. So we're here now. So some people sometimes they don't know how, when to apply log and you know, what to do. I'll explain a little bit, right? Whenever you have, right? Just, just a minute, because I'll, I'll teach you to understand, not just to solve it. If you have, let's say, 4 equal to, let's say, uh, 2 power x. Whenever you find, whenever you have a power which is unknown, and the other side there's a number, here you can apply logarithm. Log or long, okay? Let's apply log. Only when your power is unknown. Do not apply log when you have something like this. No, don't. 
to find the value of x, okay? I wouldn't encourage you to do it, okay? Because this is not power. When it's exponential, the power here on top, and then it's what you're looking for, then I'll encourage you to apply log. Log or long. If in high school, apply logarithm. If you're university, apply long, okay? Is either way is going to give you an answer, but uh, you know, I'm just doing A's for high school student or for maybe somebody with a certificate. So the power is unknown. So I'm going to apply logarithm throughout. Log on the left and right, both sides of equal sign. 1.72. And then here I'm also going to say log 1.0395 and then power 2n. And the power, it must go behind the logarithm. Like, the method is the same, just memorize the part, okay? You take this power, you take behind here. The one which is unknown, bring behind. So here we still have a log, 1.7, equal to, this is going to come behind log, which is 2n. All oh, this is going to go behind, and you have a log, 1.0395. But what we're looking for, we just need only n. We're looking for n. We don't need this, we don't need this. And since we don't need these two, then let's divide them. Because we don't need them, we're going to divide them throughout. So here we're going to say divide by 2 log, not n, n we want it, that's why we leave it there. Log 1.0395, and then we divide by 2 log 1.0395. So these two and two cancel. Log and log cancel, so we're only left with n only, on the right hand side. So this side is n, and then on this other side, this will be left with. So take a calculator, plug in this. So here is going to be n, because all these are cancelled. They're the same. So here is going to be n equal to all of this, because these and these are cancelled. So we're going to say n equal. Now let's plug in the calculator. Log and then when you plug in the calculator, this is going to give you 6.996, 6 because n equal to 6.99. Nine, nine, oh, nine, 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 five, seven. But when you approximate this, this equal to seven. When you approximate six point nine 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 nine, means almost equal to seven. So now, if you come to the option, the option is going to be option number D, which is seven. But in your solving, maybe that seven is option A, or it could be an option B. So you know, if you have to use your eyes and look at it, you see, you have to visualize. Okay, so. If you have any question, please ask me, okay? Like the video, share to your friends, and feel free, you can reach me to an email if you have any query, and I'll see you very, very soon, okay? Uh, man, I've been out of YouTube for some time because I had a lot of other responsibilities, but I'm back now. I'll try my best to, you know, catching up and upload some solution every day. Thanks so much for your time, and yeah, I'll see you soon. Peace.